Destiny 2 added a new pursuit for hardcore PvP fans with the start of Season 3, which as we all know is the Rages' Claymore. But is it actually going away forever or did Bungie find a loophole to make it available for everyone, as well as add in some massive changes to the competitive playlist? Stay tuned and find out everything there is to know in Bungie's latest post. Couldn't take it, couldn't stand another minute. Couldn't bear another day without you win it. All of the joy that I had for all my life. Raedrix's Claymore is a legendary pulse rifle with a completely unique and powerful perk set. To get it, players had to make a long and tedious grind through the competitive playlist by ranking up points to unlock the gun, a sum of 2100 to be exact. As recently revealed by Bungie, players who were able to get their hands on Raedrix's belong to a pretty exclusive group of fewer than 9,000 people who were actually able to earn it. However, many of these elite players are feeling a bit betrayed after Bungie revealed that the game's upcoming fourth season will bring what sounds like a nearly identical, maybe even better, version of the Claymore called Raedrix's Broadsword. It was said that this weapon would only be available in Season 3 and could only be earned from the methods that I mentioned earlier. Once the season ends, the Claymore would be gone forever. Now, that's still technically true, but the creation of the Raedrix's Broadsword seems to be a way for Bungie to get out of that original promise that they made to fans, a loophole in plain sight. Raedrix's Claymore's unique perk set is a combination of Outlaw, giving it a fast reload upon a precision kill, and a new perk created just for the weapon called Desperado, which upon the activation of the Outlaw perk grants a greatly increased rate of fire. Basically, it makes a high-impact, slow-firing pulse rifle with a basic time to kill, and turns into a fast-firing pulse rifle with the same impact, as well as the fastest time to kill in the game thus far. Raedrix's Broadsword, as Bungie explained in its latest post, will have the same Outlaw Desperado perk combination, but will be able to have a randomly rolled third perk slot as well as sights. This new third perk is what makes the Broadsword better than the Claymore since it will now be able to contain a new powerful perk. It's still randomized, but that doesn't mean you can't keep grinding to get that perfect god roll set. The broadsword will be earned through a lengthy crucible quest, says Bungie's lead PvP developer Kevin Yanes. Those who earned Raedrix's Claymore will already have the broadsword available in their loot pool for crucible after each match that's been completed, and will get an exclusive emblem to mark their achievement. Despite that, many are feeling as though their efforts to get the Claymore this season have already been devalued with their announcement of the broadsword. Add to it that the addition of random rolls, the broadsword could potentially be even more potent than the Claymore is if it has that perfect roll. It is already a huge point of discussion among Destiny 2 fans and will no doubt continue into the launch of Forsaken as players start getting their hands on the new weapon and all of the random perks that it can contain. The Claymore isn't the only thing that's being changed and reworked. The new Season 4 is also making some massive changes to the competitive glory points and how that they are gained. One of the goals that they say is to make earning a higher glory rank not feel like your second job. Two of the points that they make to it are that glory points gained and lost have been retuned to reduce the overall climb to the higher tiers and ranks. Also, the weekly award every Tuesday has been fixed so that you gain double the amount that it was originally. Another goal is to recognize the achievements of the players that actually competed in Season 3. They go on to say that players who competed in Season 3 will earn bonus rank points for completing their first match in Season 4. Another goal that they say is to encourage more players to strive for the higher glory ranks instead of just getting to the gun and completely stopping. A couple of the points that they make here are that losses in competitive are no longer going to reset your Valor win streak. Before they used to do that, they will no longer do it. The second one is that the radar has been re-enabled during competitive play. This has been a big controversy inside of the competitive playlist right now. A lot of people say it should be there, a lot of people say it shouldn't be there. They're going to go out on a limb right now and they're going to put it back in, so hopefully they make the right choice here. They're also adding Control and Clash, which I have no idea how that's going to be. Hopefully it's better for it, I don't know. And also the Lost Streaks have been removed. Another big thing that they did is that they removed the time pressures that are associated with the Glory Ranks. For example, the Pinnacle Crucible rewards are now awarded through quests instead of actual gameplay and rank. Some of these quests will now ask you to engage with your Valor or your Glory rank. So you might have to go into PvP, either Quick Play, Competitive Glory, either one, and you'll have to do a certain thing. You have to reach maybe a certain rank, or you might have to do a certain objective. Doesn't matter what there is, but that is being changed through a quest line now, so it's no longer time associated. All right, that's basically all the major points that I wanted to talk about in Bungie's latest post. I'll go ahead and leave the link down in the description below. That way you guys can go to the page and read everything about it more in detail. I know they go into more depth about the Claymore and all about the radar and competitive. They go into way more in depth of that than I did, so I'll leave that down in the link below. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like up on this video. Comment down below what you guys think about the Claymore and everything going on with it and about the competitive playlist. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.